I have waited over a month for this to come back. I had sent this out weeks ago. At one point it got lost in the mail. Like not lost, it just got stalled and I was just devastated. It just didn't show any movement. And then it finally got to him, it got to Don, DAG camera repair, and now we're here. It happened again also when he was shipping the camera back to me. He shipped it out this Monday and it was supposed to be here yesterday, Thursday. The last thing I saw was that it arrived at their distribution center over in Wisconsin. But now it's finally here. I got an update this morning. It said that the camera was going to be here today and I've just been juiced, waiting, waiting and waiting all day. So let's get into this. So clean too. So the main thing that was being repaired on this camera was the uh, light leak in between the, the baffle and the shutter curtain housing. There was on the older like there's just like a felt that would be blocking out the light. And you know, this is a M3, early model M3, dual stroke. Ooh, so smooth. It was never that smooth. But yeah, I was getting a light leak. And so he basically replaces the old shields with a newer style shield, which I'm assuming is a shield system that's in the like M6 reissue or the MPs, MAs. It's actually like a plastic piece on the inside, like a black plastic inside of there between the shutter curtain housing and the baffle. And so he actually does a test with a roll of film. That's one reason why it took so long is I was waiting for the roll to come back. And also he's in Wisconsin, so there was not a lot sunlight at that time and so he needed to wait for there to be more sun so that he can go out and shoot and he took five minutes in between each frame so there was enough light that got into the camera to show if there was going to be a light leak that comes up. I originally just asked him to address the light leak and just to do a CLA which his CLA is an overhaul so that's a little pricey but you get almost a brand new camera like look at this thing. Look at this thing, it's freaking gorgeous. A, a 70 year old camera that damn near looks brand new. You know, there's obviously some scuffing on the bottom, but I, you've seen worse. This will be shot this weekend. Stay tuned.
good doggy. Thank you. I ended up not getting the camera that I was looking at at the camera swap yesterday. The guy that did get it has two. And so he said I was going to be the first person that he was in contact when he was done playing around with the camera. It's got a different focusing screen in it. So he just wanted to try that out. But he uh, hit me up last night right after the meet and was like, yo, I actually am going to sell this to you right now because I don't need to. We're going to go and uh, pick that up right now. Got the camera. I'm going to have to say goodbye to the Mamiya 645 now because we got the big boy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited. I've wanted this camera for so long. Ugh. Pentax 6.7, you know, she got it. She got some battle wounds, just a little bit, just a little bit, but nothing too bad. We're gonna be starting off with the, uh, the 150 2.8. That'll be the beginner lens. I'm gonna be looking out for the uh, 105, 105 2.4. I should have picked this up yesterday, but I ended up getting a better deal on it today. So, very happy to have this. Ah, gotta go shoot it this week.